Holy crap, I have something on my leg. Wait. It's just a new bait. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a leech mold. This will be one of the easiest molds that you can make at home using a 3D printer. And you don't need an injector to make this soft plastic leech because this is an open pour mold. To make your life even easier, I'll make the design available if this video gets more than 50 likes. All you have to do is hit that like button. Alright, enough said. Let's look at some leech pictures on the web. I'm looking for a crawling, not really a swimming leech, but basically they all have a somewhat streamlined body. What is that guy doing anyways? And the body is packed with rings. Not too complicated, so let's get started. First, we will sculpt the streamlined body using the pipe form. You can add additional sections to better control the diameters. Here we make it left and right symmetrical. Top bottom symmetry is not necessary because we're going to dispose the bottom part of this model. Now split the body. As you can see, I did not split right at the XY plane, but a little offset from the XY plane because I want to have more than just half of the cross section. This will make the bait more natural looking. Now create the rings on the body. So here is the process. First, create line patterns. Then project lines to the body surface. Finally, create pipe forms from those projected lines. I could have used pipes instead of the pipe form, but I can only choose one line when I create pipe from a line, while I can choose multiple lines when I use pipe forms. I think it was too thick, so I make it flatter. Yep, there you have it. This is the completed leech model. Now let's create the mold. Here I'm making a dual cavity mold, uh, but you can make as many as you want. Here's the mold. Remember to like this video so you can download this for free. You can lay the mold on the print bed and slice it in this way, uh, but that will introduce some contours and sometimes contouring is good for texture, but here I choose to avoid that, so I uh, lay it straight on the print bed, so the segment rings align to the print layers. You 
you can see there's some imperfection on the layers but actually that's good because that gives us some texture on those rings so this leech open mold requires almost no skill so it's perfect for me just heat it up And you can see I have another one. These are great finesse bait. The mold is easy because it's an open pour mold. And you can see the segment rings are very clear. There's no contour because I printed the mold uh, in the vertical way. Let's demold the other one. Introducing armored leech. If you over poured uh, a little bit, that's okay because it's very easy to trim that excess off. I have tried the shack color and it worked pretty well too. Here's a closer look at the contour that I was talking about. Because I print this mold flat on the print bed. But in fact, I think this looks good on this design because there's no uh, segment rings. Here's both design. Let me know which one you like more. First time try the leech. Be on the drop shot. First leech fish. It works. Another leech fish. Not too big, but it works.